Welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to know if your battery is completely dead, how to know if there is a voltage on the battery connector, and um, how do we know if there's a voltage? I'll be showing you how to know if there's a voltage on the battery connector and um, if the battery is not charging, how to reset your laptop battery. If you are just new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that whenever I have an update like this, you will be notified. So I will be using my multimeter for the troubleshooting and then for the reset of the battery. Then I will need a pin. I will need two pins here. And here is my second pin, which I will be using for the, for the troubleshooting of the battery. Um, so I will need a poop that half clip, you see. So I will need the negative and the positive poop, which I will also be using. Then I will need a motor for the testing of the battery. So you can see. All these are the requirements that you need to troubleshoot your laptop battery. So, um, what you need to know before troubleshooting the battery, before know, before you proceed to know if there is a voltage on the battery, on the battery connector, or if a cell is completely dead on your battery, or how to reset the battery. Of your laptop battery so first of all you need to know where your negative sign is on the battery so some 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 new laptop they indicate the negative sign and on the positive while in some model of the laptop your battery is not the side is not indicated on the battery so you need to, if you we have the positive if you look at here we have the post the positive sign which is the plus and we have the minus which is the negative sign so i will put this here i will set this here which is my negative then i will use the other pin here which is my positive so what i'm going to do now i'm going to use the red pool the red pool on the on the positive side of the battery then i will proceed to the negative side of the battery and um, it is Set now so what I will do now I will first of all use um, the fan this is my motor to check if the voltage is where is it there's a good voltage on the battery you see so um, I'm going to use this is the negative sign here, and the, which is um, the negative, the negative of the battery. Then I will use the positive and the positive of the battery, of the motor, you see. So it is not working. The fan is not working. So that shows that there is no voltage on the battery. But before we jump into conclusion, I will be using the multimeter to check if, if there is a voltage on the, on the battery. So um, I will set my multimeter to 20 volts
I will set my multimeter to 20 volts. Then I will put the red probe on the red of the battery. You see, we have no value on the battery connector. So you can see we have no value. So how do we boost this battery? How do we try to charge the battery in Vasa? So let us try to see if we can charge the battery. So I'll be using a 12 volt adapter, which is a um, 12 volt and one amp. So I'll be connecting this, I'll be using this adapter to try to boost the battery to see if the current, there will be a current on the battery cell. So let me try to see if it will work. If you are just new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So I'm going to check the value. Let's check if I have the value on the, on the charger. You see, we have um, 14 point something volt. I think um, the battery of this meter is going to be done. It is one, yeah. This is voltage. So I have um, 14 point something volt. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to see if um, we can manually charge this battery okay so I'm going to put, set the negative of this this way you see this way so from the positive positive will be at the outer layer of the of this connector the battery connector so I will try to to see if um, we can blend this So this is to the negative of the, so I will connect this, and then I will try to see if we have a voltage, you see, the value, we should have a unstable value, if to know if the battery is charging, you see, we have unstable value, and um, you can see, the value is increasing so um, it will take a while to charge so if you are just new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give me a like you see so our battery is now charging so this is how to manually charge your laptop battery and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.